Leonard Leland, Linda Voss. 90 words a minute, bilingual dictation, and speaks German with the accent of a Berlin butcher's wife. Lethal combination. Mm. Could you stand up and turn around, please? Why should I do that? It's an observation test. Well, I'll take it sitting down. What I was going to ask you to do is stand up, turn around, and close your eyes and tell me everything you see in the room. Pictures of sailboats and polo ponies, fancy books and diplomas, stuffed fish on the wall, and a couple of guys from Harvard who are surprised that a girl who needs a job won't be treated like a slave. Are you always like this? For a woman who dares to speak her mind. The German language is very specific. Unless, of course, this is all just some kind of code, in which case you should just tell me. For a man who isn't what he seems. You're a spy, Mr. Leland. And you've seen too many movies, Miss Voss. Enough to know a spy when I see one. Love happened at the wrong time. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, by air. Overnight, the world changed. That man put his life on the line, which is more than anybody in this room is about to do. Now, they have to risk everything. I know the codes, I know the network, I know the whole operation. Linda, you are a secretary, you are not a spy. I will quit if you don't let me go. I'll miss you. I will, damn it! You know what you're getting yourself into, Linda? Yeah. War. I'll meet you in two weeks. Eyes down, say nothing. I'm trying not to look like a spy. What happened to the replacement? The replacement is lost in Berlin. Get her the hell out of there. Go away, or you'll kill us all. Michael Douglas. Melanie Griffith. I want you on that train. I can't come out now. Shining through.